And now, WCHL presents The Commentators. This is Steve Deer. 67 years ago this week, the United States dropped atomic bombs on the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, evaporating and fatally irradiating more than 200,000 people. At that time, my father, David Deere, was a 17-year-old Navy enlistee soon to train at the helm of the aircraft carrier USS Leyte. And had the war gone on, he might literally have helped steer that aircraft carrier through the Pacific and into war. Still, I completely opposed the bombings. In recent days, President Harry Truman's grandson traveled to Hiroshima to remember and to meet with the survivors and their children. The son of the only U.S. soldier to fly on both bombing crews has also just gone to Japan. Whether we agree or not about the bombings, Americans share a responsibility to acknowledge that our country is the only country in the world to have exploded nuclear weapons to kill people. Not once, but twice. At the Chapel Hill Courthouse Monday night, area residents held a commemoration of the bombings. I am grateful to live in a community where the mayors of both of our towns would attend such a commemoration. We have a burden to understand the legacy of the bombings and are spending trillions of dollars on nuclear weapons and in the gamble that nuclear energy presents. Our history and our future requires us to do our homework about our unrestrained military budget, our nuclear weapons, in fact, about all things nuclear. This is Steve Deer. Is there a local issue you care about? You're invited and encouraged to contribute your own views on this or any other issue. The Commentators. Local people, local issues on 1360 WCA.